beautiful people wagwan super excited to see all of you here thank you so much for clicking on this video we are very happy to have you over this side if you don't know me my name is kadisha but you can call me cads and it's always a vibe over here okay so you're definitely gonna want to hit that subscribe button and to click the bell so that you can know when your girl uploads a new video so for this video as you can see from the title is the diy bridal boxes that i did for my bridesmaids to propose to them i absolutely loved how they turned out and the girls loved it too so i'm going to be sharing like how i put it all together all the links will be in the description box below and where i sourced everything from or as much as i possibly can share with you i will share all of that if I didn't share something and you have a question about it, just leave it in the comment section and I definitely will answer as best as I possibly can. So I'll be doing a little series. I'll be linking like a playlist of everything that's wedding related. I think I might name it like wedding things or wedding, I don't know, but something with wedding in it. So you'll know what to look out for. And if you didn't see our engagement video, then it'll be like right up here in the info cards right up here or i'll be putting it in the description box below or at the end of the video on the end screen so it's already all over the place so you can look for it look out for it okay and be sure to watch it and let me know what you thought about it all right so without further ado let's get into the video cap it yay <laughs> First, these are the boxes that I got. Um, I purchased these on Amazon and they came in a pack of like 11. All right, they're super easy to assemble and you know, but one thing though, I don't think they're as sturdy as they possibly could be or maybe it is that I am just a full-time idiot, but There you go. That's where you lock the bottom and then the top. I just fold it down and, and da, 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 da. there you have it. Okay, so pretty easy to assemble, not too too hard. And I think you know, not much rocket science. They also came with cord and stuff like that. I had initially planned on using this, but change of plans and I'll be using um, ribbon instead to do the bows on top of the boxes. I purchased this on Amazon and um, it's just a box of scented candles so they come in different scents. I have wood sage and sea salt and there's like amber and vanilla. And then there's like pear and Frisha, wild blue bell and cologne. So this one is, um, since it's blue and it doesn't really fit in with my theme that I'm trying to go with, go for, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this one out. But yeah, pretty much. All right, so these are the wine tumblers that I got and I already had them customized with the roll um for each girl already so everything is already there i had wanted to do the customizations myself but etsy did not come through for me <laughs> not on time at least and so i had to source these in jamaica i used click tees you can follow them on instagram and they're the ones that got all of these done for me this color is rose gold just in case you wanted to know and i'll put everything in the description box below okay so these are the boxes with all the names on them and everything and now i'm going to just fill them up one by one so this is the first box i'm going to it already has the name on it and now i'm going to apply the question here and yeah then we fill it up so this girl is my bridesmaid so i hope i don't mess these up <sighs> oh my gosh it says to peel off the backing so 
I'm gonna try to do it carefully. My heart is literally pounding in my chest right now. <laughs> and I'm hoping I don't mess it up. But let's see. I want it to be like smack dab in the center. So wait, let me try to center it at least a little bit. About there, I think that's, I think that's good. All right, not so bad, not so bad. We're not too bad, hey, hey. The instructions then said I should use a um, card to press it down. And I'm gonna do that. I've been sitting on these for months. I don't know if that's why, but it's acting funky. They look at something like act well funky star. God, please, just let the thing come out how it's supposed to. The top part, I give me one piece of fight. No, do I now come off good? No, sir. Uh -uh. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, the M now come off now. Listen, will you stop? Stop the foolishness. Will you be my? Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Yes! Success! <laughs> Success, guys, it's so cute. Oh, Ooh, the emotions, the emotions, the emotions. So I only purchased one of each sticker, which is why the anxiety was so high on this. I actually purchased them like about two to three months before I actually decided to put them on. I don't know if that's why they gave me so much trouble. But yeah, I purchased them on Etsy and I actually wanted to purchase like the name for the boxes and the tumblers, everything on Etsy as well. But one of the vendors really did not come through for me and that's how I ended up just ordering from Click Tees. So yeah. It cost me around um, $5.65, roughly $6 for all three stickers. And definitely, I don't think that was a bad deal. And they came out pretty cute if you really ask me. So hey, not a bad option. Okay. I'm using about half of the pack. It's a four ounce pack. And I got this from Little Extra Packaging. You can also check them out on Instagram. Support all the small businesses that you possibly can support during this process. I am all for it. So that's that. Just gonna spread it out in the box. Before you start packaging, be sure to check the name on the box. And once we do that, we're gonna grab the cup that belongs to this lady. So this is Lane. She's gonna place her cup right there. And then we're gonna go in with her straw and the cleaning tool for the cup. Just gonna put that right there. Then we're gonna go in with our scented candle, which is amber and vanilla. It smells so good. All right, so I don't have footage of the scrunchies that you are seeing here. I somehow lost it. However, I purchased those on Shein. I created the card on Canva that says I can't tie the knot without you. And I just got it printed as a local print tree. I then added a snicker bar to each box just to kind of keep on the theme with the earth tones and all. And then that's to save the date. Every box had one of that as well. So this is how they all turned out. I thought they were pretty cute. I like the positioning of the question. Um, it didn't look so center when I was re-watching the video, but it did 
like it looks centered here is that weird i don't know but anyway i love all the little details the i can't tie the knot without you card was i think was a nice touch it also had our hashtag on it i didn't get to show you guys that but yeah it's so cute okay so now for the final step um it's really just to get all these boxes closed up and then to actually get the bows on it just for the finishing look i must admit i kid you not that tying those bows they were the hardest part of everything when i think the the, the stickers gave me anxiety oh my gosh trying to tie those bows neatly and have everything looking somewhat uniform was the task of a lifetime i kid you not so i didn't get to show you guys how i tied the bows but this is how it looked i thought they came out pretty nicely not too bad not too bad not too bad at all um it did have some uniformity i tried to get it as uniform as i possibly could i got those bows from trimming and things in kingston and i absolutely loved the look yes so guys let me know did you guys like it what did you guys think let me know in the comment section below when i like the thing or what what what, what is it <laughs> i need to know i really liked it they really liked it i mean that's the most important thing but you know i want to know some feedback you know what would you put in your bridal box i thought the tumblers were really cute the customizations i loved everything like that customize something for me and i will always love it okay so i just thought that was a cute little touch but hey hmm. I don't know what would you put in yours what did you put in yours if you already did something like this let me know in the comment section below until next time guys i'll see you in the next one and walk good <laughs> hey